Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a B1 boys. We, we're gonna be looking at something so insane that Netflix has done and sparked so much uh, controversy. I would never thought stuff like this could happen. So uh, Netflix just released a trailer for an upcoming movie uh, called Cuties <laughs> and it's just mind-blowing. Let me just read you the description of this movie just so you understand just how bad this really is. Okay, so here we have the actual uh, page, like uh, where the um, where the movie is on Netflix, and I'm gonna censor uh, actually uh, the the cover because it's just so insane. Now I, I really don't want to show it, but you can find it on the internet if you're curious. But look, look, just look at the description what it says: Amy, 11, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew, hoping to join them. She starts to explore her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Like, what the fuck? A 11 year old. This is just insane. Like, you have to think about that. This movie was carefully reviewed by I don't know how many people. They scripted the movie, they made the story, the cover, uh, the movie name, the description, filming it, editing it, the trailer found child actors to present and presented them the movie and everyone was like oh yeah th th no this is perfect N nothing nothing wrong at all with this uh, let's just advertise this to millions of people now if you look closely at the rating of this show this is made for adults okay grown-up adults a movie about an 11 year old joining a twerking clique like what the fuck bro and no one from the team think uh yeah this is this is totally fucked up so everybody was on board with this like i cannot i i cannot understand how everyone was okay with this and an, an 11 year old should not be fucking twerking or joining a crew for that matter and that will actually just perform at some point for a crowd of men like it's it's just crazy um, now if you look on the official trailer for this uh, movie uh, cuties uh, you can see that it's got so many dislikes it's crazy the amount of backlash this trailer has gotten and I don't even I, I usually don't um, I usually don't uh, dislike videos on YouTube just if I really 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 hate them and this one I had to dislike them I don't know I, I, I'm really I felt sick after watching this uh, uh, trailer, but yeah, I'm not gonna show the trailer in this mo in this video. I, I, as I said, you can watch it for yourself, but it's just fucked up. I really don't want to show it. So Netflix actually responded on Twitter. They apologized. Uh, this is what they said: "We're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used for Minions slash Cuties. It was it was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film, which won an award at Sundance." We've now updated the pictures and descriptions. So due to all this backlash, they actually had to change the description and also the the picture, which is just crazy. I mean, it's just sick to think about that. People are trying to make this to to no normalize this. These are all the the people who are actually interested in watching a movie like this are the weirdos you see at the freaking gas stations at during nighttime, like. It's just fr crazy to think about that how society has evolved throughout the years like I remember back when I was a kid like a couple of years after Facebook release uh, my mom was really like against uh, me making a Facebook account uh, that I just wanted to make to get some free words on a game uh, called Zombie Cafe I don't know if anybody remembers that game it was a really fun game and now you see all these kids like on social media like posting every part of their life to, to the public and also you see movies like this made like literally to promote basically child pornography it's just thick, thick, sick that these individuals are trying to normalize this also what I really don't agree with is that they said in the description uh, it's against her conservative family tradition like what they're trying to pass this as if this is just some conservative family thing when in reality this is a this is fucking common sense you don't have to bring the word conservative in the discussion to justify this this is this movie is just so wrong and i hate it so much and 
I, I hate how, how they try to normalize this. It's so, so overall, I'm I'm really disappointed. I don't don't want to see stuff like this in the future because it just makes you wonder in what direction the society is going. The the maps community is already uh, trying to normalize stuff like this, and now you have literally movies on about this. So so yeah, um, that's in it. that's been it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if you disagree with, with my opinion. Please let me know because I'm I'm actually very interested to see your point of view. Uh, but anyways, that's it. See ya.